welcome back to my journey. Um, I guess I'm kind of taking my own advice because it's only been a few days now. Um, I think it's, I don't know, somewhere around three and a half days. Yes, I'm counting half days since I made my cut, which typically I would kind of expect today, kind of like last night um, when my body's going, hey, um, the medication is no longer there, or at least the level that it was. Um, but I have really taken what I've said to heart, um, I guess, because I've been kind of letting it roll off me a little more, you know, some of the side of some of the symptoms, some of the, the things that I've been feeling. Um, again, I, I'm not perfect at this. I, uh, so anybody watching out there, yeah, it sucks. Um, but again, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to really try to dwell on that. And I, I, I've, I've seen by letting it be like, just accepting, just say, okay, I have this symptom. I, I have this. I, even right now, I, you know, build blurred vision, whatever, um, aside from the age related complex I already have, um, you know, but that's okay. So that's what I have today. So that's what I have to work with. And that's what I want to do. Um, I, I'm making this video one because uh, I said I would, um, so people can see um, one maybe that maybe it doesn't, it doesn't have to be bad, um, but at the same time, you know, so if I'm going to come on here from time to time when things are going really badly, which I, I probably will, um, I did it the one time when things were felt like they were getting ready to go, you know, really start to rock and roll, or whatever, and um, and even right now today, I mean. Just little things like, you know, just these fear thoughts that keep going through my head. Um, more, just more things like that. Um, but again, and actually it's interesting because now that I'm doing this and becoming part of this YouTube thing, I, I've actually found more videos and I've seen the suffering that people are going through. Um, and in my last video, I said that I think um, we'll make this the anxiety a thing of the past. I guess what I really meant to say is we'll make the use of benzodiazepines a thing of the past. Anxiety is always going to be a teacher, a whatever, um, and maybe maybe not. You know, maybe I'll, God willing, I'm wrong about that. Um, but I think fear has its place. Um, people always talk about the dichotomy that is life, you know two sides of the same coin, you know, you can't know happiness without sad, whatever. So I think fear is, is a good tool. Um, <laughs> it's worked for me, woke my ass up, um, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but anyway, I wanted to correct that because what, and again, there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, they blame their doctors that are blaming the medication itself. Um, me, been there doing that um the doctor i'm working with actually she's a nurse practitioner to be fair and she's one of the few that i found that actually she's the doctor's allowing her to do what she does and she is trying to help people to not go on in the first place and finding other ways and means um but even having said that she's admitted to me she doesn't know what she's doing but she feels like she's doing the right thing which is what I'm doing with these videos I have no idea what I'm doing but I know I'm doing the right thing um, but anyway back to my point <laughs> if I can keep a straight thought again <laughs> one of the symptoms I'm not going to talk about um, is just yeah these medications um, the side effects of them I know I know there's people out there that uh, come right off which I actually I've, I've done that you know 30 years ago, 20 some years ago, whatever it was, I you know, I took them, stopped, it was fine. Still had anxiety. Um, so there was underlying reasons that I needed to deal with. Um, but yeah, the benzodiazepine and the trip that these medications take us on, and then the healing from it, which is something that none of us signed up for, um, was never really talked about. Still is not talked about and anywhere near enough. I, although I'm really encouraged by what I'm seeing on the internet, on YouTube of 
organizations that I didn't know existed. And I think I'm going to put one up if, if I'm allowed to do that. Um, just because I didn't, I mean, there was something this year that happened that the world benzodiazepine day or something like that, which to me was, you know, very cool. Um, but yeah, th th my point was though, I can keep blaming the medication. I can keep blaming my doctors, although, especially my one doctor in particular, I really think he had my best interest at heart. Um, the pharmaceutical industry and what they're doing, I'm not going to speak to that. Um, I have my own whatever about that. Uh, somebody knows. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, but the doctors themselves, I don't think they know. And then I think when they do start to get whatever, I think they get scared. Um, they either ignore it and just keep listening to the pharmaceutical rep who's knocking on the door and giving them the newest and whatever. And, you know, again, they only have so much time in the day. They can see us for, what, 15 minutes at a time? Uh, 20 if you're lucky. Um, and then they make a diagnosis and write a script and out you go. Um, so then when you come to them with all of these symptoms that, you know, have, you know, most doctors looking at you doing a really slow head shake, like you were more crazy than they thought you were, um, it's got to be tough on them. So again, my point though is to keep this short, I, I, I'm, I'm, for me, I'm to the best of my ability, I'm not going to play the blame game anymore. This is where I'm at now. I took the medications. I, I did what they told me to do. So we'll leave it at that. But that doesn't get me anywhere. What gets me somewhere now is saying, okay, I have to accept where I'm at and I have to do something about it. Um, whether that's change my diet, whether that's, you know, don't drink caffeine, whether that's take certain supplements that, have, that are helping for different things, whether that's finding a doctor who looks at things completely different. Um, all things, again, that I probably will make videos about because I want people to know kind of how I got here. Um, and think that I think that they should take a look at. It doesn't mean I'm right. <laughs> Lord knows. Um, it just means I've got some mileage behind me that maybe you could benefit from. Um, so your miles may vary with all of this stuff, even what I'm saying right now. But that's really what I want to say. Is one, this is day three and a half, maybe day four, whatever, and life is not... Life is better, especially as long as I look at it that way as long as i continue to and i'm not saying things go i mean but actually yeah in some ways i am i'm saying it's just like a panic attack don't feed it when when the when the muscle aches when they come just say okay i got it you know it's what it is today and somehow i don't know it does get a little better um again i'm learning along as i do this so it's kind of exciting to me i mean because a day or so ago after I made the video that was like one of the best days I've had in a really long time um, just the whole day I was mentally pretty clear I mean just overall just you know was I out running around and doing all the things that I want to do no and that's part of the acceptance I think too is looking is as I look online and I watch videos one of the reasons I kind of stopped and I read people's stories there's some people that you know, when they're on the other side you know now they're out driving they're out going to you know they're doing the things the world says we should do. They're working. They're... Am I doing those things? No. Am I using it as, this as an excuse? Yeah, I have been. And I may be now. But at least I, I choose now to accept it and say, okay, this is where I'm at. I'm not beating myself up over it anymore. I'm going to do what I need to do one day at a time until I'm on the other side of this. And part of that's making these videos. Um... I think there's value. I know there's value for me. I hope I'm creating some value for somebody else out there. Um, if I am, then it'll be a blessing. Um, I know just for myself, just going back and watching the videos. Um, this is what I can do at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to get in my car and go do rallies or sign people up. It's just not where I'm at. But I can make these videos. Um, so, anyway... To, the, to as much as you can, don't be a victim anymore. And I've heard that, and I, when people told me that, I said, you know, I'll use, I won't, can't use the F word, I'm going to try to keep this family friendly, but, you know, screw you, because I've been wronged, I've been whatever, I, I have this disorder, I, you know, I have all these things, and taking responsibility, finally, not well, I'm going to do it, I'm saying it right now on camera, um, 
but don't get me wrong. Uh, so you know, so something you look at and say, well, he's doing it. Why can't I? No, I'd same thing I'm doing. I'm looking at people on YouTube and saying, you know, well, shit, why, why can't I do that? Why can't I just, you know, grip my teeth and say, okay, I'm, I'm done with this and, and be over with. So I've decided that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing it one day at a time, kind of like they did. They're just ahead of me in the curve. Um, so wherever you are in this curve, if you're ahead of me, great. If you're behind me, Hopefully I can help pull you along because I'm not giving up. Um, I got too many things to live for. And as I'm getting older in life now, I realize that it's one of the things, again, looking at how, you know, when I do the math of how much time it's going to take to get off this. And then people talk about proactive withdrawal and all the rest of it. I have no idea. And that and that's really the key, I guess, is when we don't know. We can't compare ourselves to other people. We don't know what they're what they did, what they've been doing what their journey in life, what they're here to do. So anyway, I said I was gonna make this video. Like I said, it's day four since I made my cut. Uh, I'm still here. Life hasn't fallen apart and I intend to keep that momentum going. Um, for all of you who are subscribing and leaving comments, thank you. Um, blessings to all of you whether you do or not i you know i understand that this is very embarrassing it's it's hard for me to sit here and do this and put it out there so i understand just even hitting the subscribe button um it, it takes guts um hitting a like button takes guts um so and if you're not in that place that's cool i, I get it um I'm not sure how I'm doing this, to be honest, but I know since I've started doing it, it's kind of given me a purpose, which is something I've been lacking for a while. And um, so it feels good. Um, but anyway, thank you. Love and light to every single one of you. I commend all of you for your bravery, for what you're going through. And we're gonna make a difference. I mean, the, the times the times come that this is going to change. Um, the word's going to get out. Enough of us are going to do this. Enough of us are going to join a channel like mine, and we're going to become a community. And the community is going to grow, and it's going to grow to a large number. And I don't just mean mine. Pick somebody else's, whatever, somebody that resonates with you. It doesn't matter to me. But just that we're going to grow so that, like, my daughter won't have to deal with something like this. Her friends won't have to deal with things like this. Uh, we'll find better ways um, to alleviate anxiety and to and fear um, and maybe it's this, as simple as acceptance which is what I began talking about this in the first place and with that I'll leave it love and light to every one of you um, thank you for being a part of my journey and I'll see you again next time thank you